This is Seth David for SchoolofBookkeeping.com, bringing to you course SA7, that's Standalone 7, on handling customer deposits and cleaning up undeposited funds. Hey, Seth David here, your Dean of Beans with SchoolofBookkeeping.com, bringing to you a brand new course fresh off the press. This one we're calling Handling Customer Deposits and Cleaning Up Undeposited Funds. Now, where does this come from? It actually comes directly out of our answers forum. And as you might have heard me say in previous videos, and you might have heard us say in the blog and elsewhere, uh, periodically what will happen is I'll, I'll find that a, a question that somebody has asked, the answer to it, uh, might be one that I feel is beneficial to others, many others in fact. And I've done a bunch of video answers, which you can actually find here in our site uh, in the answers forum. Um, if you uh, ask me a question that I feel is even more compelling than that, such as what happened this past week uh, with one of our students, Joseph, uh, I, I felt it actually warranted because it's a topic that comes up and gives people uh, a lot of trouble in my experience. Uh, I felt it was worth doing a short course, one of our standalone courses, which are our shorter courses. And if there seems to be interest and, and questions around the content that lead to it, then we could, of course, extend it into a full-length course. And the, the title of the course is what you can see on your screen here. It says, Handling Customer Deposits and Cleaning Up Undeposited Funds. Now, before you go away, assuming you're very experienced and you already know how to do this, I want to invite you to take this course anyway. Because the other thing that I've infused into this course is a whole bunch of QuickBooks tips and tricks and hacks, things that will help you get through QuickBooks and get through different screens in QuickBooks very quickly. I've intentionally left the video lengths long on these ones. I normally don't do 20 to 25 minute videos, but you're going to see that we have videos that are that long. The first one is that long and the other is not much shorter really. The reason is I purposely left, uh, I purposely did not skip over the part where I created the sample data because there's a lot that I have taught in this course behind creating that sample data. Things like duplicating invoices and transferring it from one customer to another so that I could quickly get the sample data across five customers so that I could more easily demonstrate for you what it might look like when you have a situation where you have several customers making deposits in advance and you've received that money all at the same time time. All of this arose from Joseph's questions and I kind of went through his question point by point to see what uh, what I could do to, to help him in answering his question. And finally, as kind of an offshoot to this, it occurred to me because one of the comments Joseph made, and you'll see this in the course, uh, in his question was that he, by the time he would go to record the deposits uh, that he received from his uh, students, they, he runs a school and they pay tuition, they pay in advance, he said that the undeposited funds account had so much stuff in there that it became very cumbersome and confusing in terms of how to uh, group those payments and record the deposits in QuickBooks. So this course was aimed at hope, hopefully helping to clarify a lot of those the questions around that topic, but as an offshoot it occurred to me that it might be useful to do a, a lesson, which is the one I did here, on how to digitally document your check deposits. And it's, I show you in that lesson how to use Evernote to do this in a way that's so cool, that makes it so easy if you ever need to find that information later. You won't have to rely on the bank and you won't have to spend more than 30 seconds, if even that long, l looking for the information that you need to find out what payments that you received made up a particular day's deposit. So please take this course, even if you think you know the material already, because I almost guarantee you, in fact, I do guarantee you, you're going to learn something anyway. So come along with me, check out this course. Again, it's handling customer deposits and cleaning, cleaning up undeposited funds. So come along, take the course, and as always, we've got the answers for them. So if you have questions and you need me to expand on anything here, then uh, feel free to use the answers for them to ask those questions so I can expand upon them. And there's 11 major highlights that I picked out of the course in terms of tips that you're given that are tangent to the course, but that actually will help you increase efficiency and increase your workflow processes when you're working with data in QuickBooks. So I look forward to seeing you in the lesson and I look forward to getting your comments and feedback.